Hello fellow warriors. Um, so last time I did the video of my journey and you know the different um, modifying treatments they call them. Disease modifying treatments. Um, some people agree with them, some people don't, but it really the whole point is that it's all an individual journey and you know all of our diseases manifest differently speed up slow down it's all very particular so you know where I am in my journey as far as not taking any disease modifying therapies you know I could change my mind I thought about it I'm like maybe I should you know go on Oclipus everybody's raving about it um, but that's just not where I am in my journey so please know that whenever I talk about medicines or whatever, it's just about my journey. And um, I have learned in my journey that sometimes it's really good to um, hear what other people do. Cause you might get an idea, you might learn something, and, and that's how I got some of these things that I do. So anyway, I'm just gonna go through the pharmaceuticals first because I definitely take things that help with them. Uh, symptoms. So I take venlafaxine. It is an antidepressant. It is for depression, which most of us have with MS. They don't know if it's because we can't quite produce serotonin the same way or activate it or what have you, or if we're just really bummed because our life sucks a lot of the time. But I take venlafaxine, which is generic for Effexor, um, three times a day, 37.5 milligrams. And I do well on it. I um, tried another um, antidepressant a long time before and I did not do well on that. So, and everybody's different. So I guess whatever works for your body if you need to take it. The other thing that um, the antidepressant does is it helps with the neuropathy in your um, in your feet. So, um, or, or your hands or wherever you have it, it, it really does help with that. That was the original reason I went on it to begin with. All right, the next one is clonazepam. That is generic for clonopin. It is an anti-anxiety medicine, which I definitely need. I have, I'm wound pretty tight. Um, but what clonopin also does for me is it relaxes, it helps keep my neck muscles relaxed, like um, the other muscle relaxers could never do. So, you know, um, the other thing too is Staying, for me, staying calm and, and all of that helps me not to have a, a relapse that's brought on by stress. All right, the next one, gabapentin. I know a lot of you guys are on this. Um, it's really, it's for nerve pain. Um, some, some people are on really high doses and I'm sort of middle of the road, I suppose. I take two 300 milligram tablets every day and that's for neuropathy, basically neuropathy. And also, it's supposed to help with trigeminal neuralgia, which I also have, and I have fibromyalgia as well. So it does help with those things. I sometimes think, oh, it's not really doing that much. And then I stop taking it, and I'm like, ah, no, it helps me. I wish, I really wish that I didn't have to take these um, symptom meds, but such as life. It could be worse. This is oxybutynin. I know a lot of people are familiar with oxybutynin. It helps your bladder. It helps overactive bladder and overactive bladder is usually caused from bladder spasms. It really helps me a lot. Not to say that I don't still have accidents or urgency, but if I ever, you know, stop taking my oxybutynin, <laughs> then I'm like, oh, it's definitely helping. There's no question about it. All right. Next one, baclofen. So many of us know baclofen. Um, you know, I, after I had my last, this past relapse, it was really long and took a long time to come out of it. I think I'm finally getting out of it now. Um, I upped my baclofen to 20 milligrams three times a day. And honestly, I barely take it. I might take one at bedtime, but some of the other things I've been doing have really helped especially physical therapy. All right, and the next one 
is um, dolphemperdine, which is generic for Empira. That's the walking medicine that's supposed to help you walk. It works for me. Like, honestly, I should be practicing walking more. I bet, I mean, I've kind of been lazy about it, but it, I mean, it totally works for me. Um, I kind of started feeling it in the first week, um, but then, and then I felt it in the next week and I kind of didn't notice it's my brain playing tricks on me. But now it's been four weeks and for sure, sometimes my legs will get going and I'm like, ah, I can't keep up. And I'll have to do that thing like what you do when you're trying to learn to roller skate and you have to like run into the wall because you don't know how to stop. That's, that's what Empire is doing to my legs. So no complaints at all. Oh. And last but certainly not least of my everyday meds is LDN, low dose naltrexone. In a nutshell, it creates endorphins in your body and that helps stop or slow inflammation. Um, some people say nothing happened, didn't work for me, blah, blah, blah. And you can tell I have a little attitude about it because I love this medicine so much and the fact that there's like zero side effects, huge bonus. So, I mean, some people report, I don't know, like a weird dream or something, but there's no like, you know, the infusion side effects. There's nothing like that. I'm on 4.5 milligrams um, in the morning. Um, I've been taking LDN since 2014. I found it myself online just researching, just like, I think I probably researched in quotes, cure for MS. And you know, all kinds of stuff will come up and then I search something else and and like alternative therapies or something and this came up and I learned that they had studied it a little bit more in Europe than they have here um, it's a very cheap medicine and for some reason they're not able to patent it which means that no drug company can own it so there's no incentive for any business to do tests to see how this affects MS and other autoimmune diseases but there are there is a plethora of anecdotal evidence and for me it works I mean I could probably talk for an hour about LDN so that's low dose naltrexone you might remember naltrexone in your mind because it is what they give I think somebody who's like um, overdosed on heroin or something they give them that and then it sort of neutralizes it but that's in a whole different dose it's it's like a different medicine at a different dose which makes sense, which is why microdosing mushrooms sounds very interesting to me. That's a whole other video too. All right, sometimes for sleep, because I know a lot of us have um, um, uh, trouble sleeping, um, waking up in the night, besides having to pee, but it's just, I mean, we're exhausted, but we can't sleep. It's like torture. It's like, I'm so tired, but I can't sleep. I get it. It's it's just one of those things that's so hard to explain to somebody else because they're like, oh yeah, sometimes I have insomnia and you're like, yeah. Or when you're trying to describe fatigue, oh yeah, I get really tired in the afternoons. I don't understand. I feel like a narcoleptic. Like I could fall asleep right now. I was like that earlier today. Today was crap. Anyway, so I'll take Trazodone. I almost didn't want to take it because it's technically started out as an antidepressant because I'd had a problem with an antidepressant before. I was like, I don't know, I'm kind of sensitive to these types of medications. Lyrica affected me that way as well. Um, but anyway, so they're like, yeah, but in this small of a dose, it's not really an antidepressant. It just works differently. And I was like, okay. And several doctors told me that before I would trust. Because remember, doctors don't study medicine. Pharmacists do. Doctors know what the pharmacist's pamphlet says it's a whole other video too all right so with all those medicines that are downers sure does slow you down sometimes it's frustrating because you're trying to not be fatigued but you take all this stuff that makes you fatigued but if you don't take it you know you're gonna suffer so we all every single day and throughout the day have to figure out how we're gonna balance all this stuff. That is my dog back there, that's Lola. She's making a bed on top of, well, on top of my rope. So, my fault for leaving there. 
Anyways, we take all this stuff that slows us way down, right? Well, most of us are ridiculously constipated, like more constipated than your average human being could ever get it. Like I have gone a couple of weeks without going. And if you saw me in the mirror, I, I look freaking pregnant because my stomach is literally full of food. I don't know how, I don't know how it can be like that. Um, if it's a super extreme situation, I will mix some Epsom salt into water. There's directions, you can find the directions, whatever. Um, sometimes what I will do is do that. Now I'm not telling you what to do because I'm not a doctor. I'm telling you what I do and the discoveries I've made over the years. So I, if it's, it's like, oh my God, we got a, you know, nuclear, it's a nuclear situation. So then what I do is I mix some Epsom salts in some water and I down it. It doesn't, it just tastes like salt water basically, but what it is, Epsom salts is magnesium. And what magnesium does is it floods fluid, not fluid, that sounds bad. It, it um, moisturizes, that <laughs> sounds bad too. It's, um, anyway, it gets your colon nice and slick so that stuff will move. And sorry, that's gross, but I know what we all deal with. This is not like, we all have it. We might not talk about it with normal people, but we know. Anyway, so I find like x lax to be a little bit too volatile for me. It's just me. I just, it gets too crampy. It starts to set off like a, a trend of crampiness. So I don't personally do that. But so if I'm not in the state of like, oh my God, I have to drink um, Epsom salts, then what I do is Senna. It will take one or two or three. You could take any, that's the district the description um, depending on you know your needs and uh, then sometimes what I'll do if I'm like okay we got the whole afternoon we're gonna get this I will do Senna plus um, extra probiotic plus magnesium so you are hydrating there's the word hydrating your colon you're getting it. This, what it does is it sort of irritates the inside of your colon, so it stimulates the peristalsis. That's what pushes everything through. Um, and then you've got your probiotic, which also kind of says, oh, we're supposed to be digesting now. So that can be a pretty good one, two, three punch um, to help you, you know, empty. So this is CBD oil. I will use this for pain, for spasms, for anxiety. Um, I choose to get it from Lazarus, Lazarus Naturals, L-A-Z-A-R-U-S, because they give like a 40% discount to people who are on um, Social Security or they, you know, are disabled. They also give a discount to, vet, to vets, so that's pretty cool so I don't sell it I'm not trying to do a commercial for them but I'm just saying like you know if you have to buy something might as well buy from a company that's um got some ethics just, there ain't many of them anymore all right now one reason I couldn't think of the word hydrate is because right now I am on this it is called get Zen and well they're the company and this product is called Serenity 1111. So it's 330 milligrams CBD, 330 milligrams of THC. So that's marijuana. THC is the um, compound in marijuana that gets you high. So I wanted to do one of these videos high because some of you are hesitant to, um, to try it. You think, oh my God, I, I don't smoke, I don't know. Or you've bought into the propaganda that has been fed to us. You think it's you're going to be like Cheech and Chong all of a sudden or Snoop Dogg. Won't be able to stop laughing, can't think straight, that kind of thing. Well, I'm high right now. I'm elevated. I, let me think, I'm thinking about my pain. Lola, we're not going to talk, okay? 
No, I know Buka did first. Talk, talk, talk. Um, I'm trying to think of my pain. Like, my pain is, is non-existent right now. I mean, I, that for me is a miracle because I have pain 100% of the time. And I take this little capsule. I remember the first time I tried it, it was in the form of a lollipop. And I, I did the lollipop that would probably equal about 15 to 20 milligrams of um, THC. I remember I was laying on the couch and I remember just, it, it takes a while, it takes like a couple hours to actually hit you. A couple hours go by and I just said to my mom, I was like, and I was kind of crying, like happy tears, you know, were just coming down my cheeks. And I said, I don't have any pain. This is 2015. I am so sorry for the rudeness of my dog. It's unacceptable. She hears the other dog that lives in this house and she thinks that she needs to tell him that he, whatever, she's bossy. So, um, long story short, I tried it for the first time and it was the first time I hadn't been in pain in 15 years. Like it was such a foreign feeling to me. Um, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not a doctor, but I'm just saying, I'm sitting here talking. I don't have a script. I couldn't think of the word hydrate. Big whoop. I wouldn't drive like this, you know, but this is what it looks like. It's not, it's not Cheech and Chong. It's not that kind of stuff. It's not smoke. It's a capsule. It is a capsule. And the things that they told us about marijuana, I actually learned the other day. Let me see if you can see. You tell I'm a rookie about this. Anyway, it's a capsule. Anyway, it's a little capsule. You guys know what a capsule looks like. But I want to show it to you so you're like, it's like harmless. It's not, it's, I'm not sitting here like smoking a joint. I'm not doing that. I'm not judging people who do. It's just not me. I was one of those people that was like, oh my God, I will not affiliate myself with anybody who ever touches marijuana, you know? And what I learned was it's kind of like alcohol. You can be friends with people who have a drink once in a while, you know? That's not the same as being friends with people who are just like fall down drunks, you know, rowdy, whatever. I mean, alcohol is not the same depending on who, you know, what they're doing with it and how they, if they can use it in moderation, etc. Well, this is like this and this is medicine. So I'm trying to learn the story. I'm trying to remember the story I learned the other day about that it was really about the hemp. They didn't want, it was, I think, William Hurst. He was in, I mean, he had a bunch of papers, but I guess he also must have had, um, you know, his own paper mills. Well, he didn't want hemp to become popular because it is so much cheaper. It's so much more plentiful. Um, and there's a bunch of other attributes for hemp. Well, that's cannabis. So they've also, I mean, there's other things like they made it, you know, Criminal, they criminalized it so that they could, you know, basically bust people with it. Like, make something illegal so that you can catch people doing it. But anyway, my point is, they made it illegal, but not to protect us. Not to mention that how many, I know there's a lot of you that are like, only thing I do is weed. That's all I do. And honestly, if that's how I'd start it, probably what I'd do too, because it would fix my depression, it would fix my anxiety, it would fix my spasms. It... I don't know about the bladder part, but I will say when you are having trouble going, when you're on THC and you have to go, oh, it's like a real empty. That was a bonus. And then if I can get a really good empty, then it's a long time before I have to go again. So maybe it is good for the bladder. So, you know, it kind of takes the place of all these other meds. Um, there's something in me that's it makes me afraid to stop the other meds. I mean, that's how indoctrinated we all are. But anyway, 
that's what I take. That's my daily routine, my added stuff. Not to say there isn't Advil or et cetera migraine here and there, but I figured you guys assume that. So anyway, that's my um, medicine story. And um, if you learned, you know what? I forgot. The other thing that I take is called D Menos, capital D dash M A N N O S E. It is um, a derivative of cranberry, and it's the part of the cranberry that makes people able to overcome UTIs with just doing that. That's hard for us to do because our body's like not releasing it. So, you know, for a normal person, you could probably do that. However, D Manos is so concentrated. I sound like I'm making a commercial. Sorry, I'm not trying to. Um, D Manos is so concentrated that it'll work better. What it does, it's kind of gross, but you know, most bladder infections are caused by E. coli. Um, and the D Manos will like, think of Pac-Man, it'll grab the um, E. coli and it'll carry it out with the urine. So you take enough D Manos, which I take like two for maintenance daily, um, they'll, it'll just grab it rather than that E. coli, that bacteria, um, being able to stick to the bladder walls. So, I mean, I learned about that on an online support group. I mean, I'm like, dude, I've had this 20 years and I never knew about D. Manos and it changed my life. I spent most of 2019 having a UTI. So, ah, oh, what a lifesaver it's been. So that's, that's a really great supplement that I take. Um, can't believe I almost forgot it. But it's because it's not sitting right here. It's actually holding up the, the camera a little bit. A little secret. So anyway, that's what I'm on. That's what I do. And if you have any questions about any of it, feel free to write it in the comments. Please subscribe and share. And I really appreciate it. We will talk more about LDN next time.